This is Cam Tyler from Lit Loops, and welcome back to our how-to series on using Lit Loops to make your music production stand out from the crowd. We are going to continue with the same pop track that we were working on in the last video, but going to dive a little deeper into some different ways to utilize these loops. Okay, so the next sound I need is something to bring some live rhythmic energy to the chorus. As of now, it's pretty bare sounding. The only rhythmic elements are an electronic kick on beat one and a clap on beats two and four. Here's where we are at. Yeah, it definitely needs something more here. As a drummer, I always think in terms of a drum kit. And my intuition as a drummer would be to add a hi-hat pattern to help push the rhythmic energy of a song. So I'm going to use the Lit Loops Hot Hats library. And I went through a few of them and ended up finding this loop right here. Hot Hats 12, 93 BPM. Which sounds like this. I like this loop because it has the organic performance element and swing feel that I'm looking for to create more rhythmic movement and energy in this song. I had to correct this loop from 93 BPM to our song's 115 BPM with flex time editing, but it's so convenient that all of the loops from Lit Loops are easily manipulatable with a simple tool like flex time. You can use them at pretty much any tempo. So now when you listen to our chorus, you'll notice a great lift that this hi-hat loop brings to the section. I'll play how it was before, and then I'll add the loop in so you can hear the difference it makes. Very cool. It sounds like an actual human drummer on the song now. The thing I love about this Hot Hats library is that it gives the feel of real drums, but opens up the possibilities of hybridizing the real stuff with electronic sounds, which is very much the direction of a lot of modern music production today. Stylistically, this is more of an electronic house track than a live band track, which is why I used electronic kicks and claps. But it is the Hot Hats loop that brought this section to life. And it's really easy to hybridize and layer in any sound you want along with the loops from this library. Here it is again with everything in. Thank you for watching part two of this how-to series on Lit Loops, Rhythmic, Drum Loops, and Samples. In the next video, we will talk about using one-shot samples as a unique signature button at the end of a song section. Sign up on our website, litloops.com, and we will give you some amazing sounding drum loops and samples like the one you heard in this video for free. Catch you later.